Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Nonemon7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Hello, people of the internet. This is Noname117Spore. Fortunately, I'm going to be talking a little slower today, a little more, uh, slightly more painfully than before, so I don't know if it's going to be a little bit more difficult to understand me or not. And today, I am back with more Rule the Waves 2. Yes, we have returned. It is now January 1944. And the war with Britain has ended in our victory. We took uh, Malta and Crete from them. And in addition to that, we also got uh, four points of uh, stuff there. Our naval budget's actually not bad after that, because they had to give us the four points there out of them, and we've gotten some more in the past. Plus, we got those uh, colonies. So right now we've got a larger budget than France. We have a larger one than Russia. Ours is about equal to Germany. We are in the dead middle in terms of naval budget right now. And we're kind of close to tied with one. Of course the USA and Britain are going to be way above that because USA and Britain are always way above that. We now have as many dreadnoughts in service as Britain. Um, Although the British ones are a lot better than ours. But yeah, this is what we sank in the war. Because last time I didn't uh, actually report on that, or on what the British lost. Now, not all of this is. Like, say, Renown and Royal Oak, those were sunk uh, in a previous war. That's translating this mail for the CEO can wait. Yes, it is Real the Waves 2 time. So yeah, Renown and... Royal Oak were lost when we were allies with them, and then that was also lost when we were allies with them. Everything else, I believe, is, uh, yeah, a lot what they what they lost in this war. So, how many Z8, or how many heavy cruisers did they lose? Eighteen. Eighteen British heavy cruisers. And yet, they still had a bunch, and they were... I would say they were still building more, but, um... Uh, yeah. That's kind of, uh, a little broken. Right there. People have been reporting this bug, though, so... Yeah. The Ob looks normal, Carry Sport looks normal. I think the rest of these are, uh... Pretty normal. But yeah, it looks like some of their, uh, heavy cruisers actually were built as uh, CVLs, and they still have some CVLs somehow. With CVs, with, what, three CVs. But that's not our main priority. Our main priority is going to be to go to war with France at some point in the near future. Right now, they are building a large number of battle cruisers. These only have ten and a half inch belts, and aren't quite as strong as ours. Um... I don't know what the fuck designs you can find in the almanac. Around the almanac. I don't know. They've only got one dreadnought battleship, though. So, I don't know how we're going to play this out. But in terms of carriers, they do have one at 32,000 tons. It is 35 knots, though. So, if that holds up, I don't think this carrier can hold that many aircraft. Um, I kind of doubt... Wait, hold on. 52 aircraft, 59... That's 90? Dear God. 90 aircraft on uh, Sewell. So France has one good CV and then two kind of worse CVs. Britain, I'm actually kind of curious about if we continue the war. Yeah, they have a 90 plane CV. The other two aren't quite as good. And just in case we wind up at war with Italy again, um, they have two 52 aircraft CVs. So, first of all, it is time to scrap ships. 
So the to get offs are just uh, just a quick look at the to get offs again. These good battleships served us for a while, but their belt armor is crap. So they're going to the scrapyard. The monarchs, a little bit better of belt armor, but their speed's really slow. Um, guns are okay. On the other hand, I think it's time for them to go. You've served your purpose. The battlecruiser Lisa, the second battlecruiser we built. That gun placement isn't that horrible. It had cross deck firing. You could get all the all ten of those on a broadside. But small belt, still moderately fast. But I think it's time that Lisa goes. I guess there's some thought for turning either Lisa or Tyrol into a carrier, but I kind of don't think that's a good idea. I think it's better to just get the purpose-built carriers. And Battlecruiser Tyrol, also very outdated, dating from 1919. Last of our, uh, or one of the last of our uh, pre-treaty ships. Hey, Vampy! Yep, I'm playing this game again. So... After that, the Fidos. We are going to scrap all of these guys. These guys are badly obsolete at this point and way too small. Um, so the Sida or these four CLs we're keeping, definitely. These four are good. Or these disband all air wings. I'll disband most of the air wings. Um, this set of CVL or not CVL CLs is a little weaker, so I'm gonna investigate what to do with them. Um, I'd be more inclined to keep the Helgolands around than the other two. Uh, Destroyer-wise, I'm gonna see what I can get out of a Sazamos class um, by removing the aft gun. Eh, sorry, God, it's a. Uh, Mines and stuff. How are minesweepers looking? Open design for rebuild on this guy here. So this is already at its maximum. It could use some more anti aircraft positions, but eh, it's not that horrible. Can I move the. Can I move If we open the Panthers for a rebuild, on the other hand, um, yeah, they can't even use minesweeping gear. It's like, it's like these are 600 and 700 tons, so they're small. Yeah, possibly, Vampy. Um, but, you know, that's the same size as the mine, or as the, uh, is these guys, the minesweepers we're keeping around, or the corvettes. In that regard, we're basically just talking about, you know, having more of them. Although, how much is the maintenance? It's 9, 10, and 12 on those guys. Those guys is all 14, and on these guys down here, it's like 9 or 8. Corvette don't have big engines. Well, again, maintenance isn't that bad, or isn't that bad, unlike any of these. Um, on the other hand, I do want to uh, look at refitting the salamanders, velobits, and planets into uh, escort destroyers. Uh, do I scrap the panthers, or keep them around? I mean, they don't have good fire control, but do they really need good fire control? If they're just like coastal escort, it might be kind of free points, but we do need we do need sub hunters, and uh, I th I think it's time to scrap them. Submarines are too good now. Uh Gannett says that. Yeah, I think I think all everything below the eleven hundred gets scrapped. Although. Am 
All right, no, I can't get rid of the remaining radar on these guys. Yeah, let's just uh, scrap those uh, 22 ships. These guys are going to have to be rebuilt here soon, um, which basically just means this. But I probably also want to get a 900 uh, ton minesweeper up. So, originally I was thinking that we scrapped the inns while they're still building. On the other hand, we don't actually have 5 inch dual purpose mountings. So, we're gonna just resume construction and build them. In the meantime though, we also do badly need to rebuild our submarine fleet. And I know I'm taking a big hit to monthly balance once we uh, start mothballing these. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have the guns I need. Yes, I have 6 inch auto loaders. I don't have 5 inch auto loaders. 6 inch auto loaders can work. I have. I don't have auto loaders for any other caliber of gun. And I did check this before I started up. So that does mean that I want to build... But we don't have the 6 inch dual purpose guns! Either! We have the auto loaders, but we don't have the dual purpose yet. So... Yeah, um... We're kind of screwed in that regard. We need better dual purpose guns. So what I'm gonna send is I'm gonna or what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna send all these guys to rebuild. Either one is gonna get a refit. Yep. Okay, so Rollins, uh so again, we right now have a twelve thousand deficit wasted on naval aircraft, and I'm hoping to get that down to maybe about two thousand. Um and that would uh bring our monthly balance way back into the way back into the black so for now i'm not going to well actually wait we need to scrap some uh cvs so yeah, the minervas you guys have served me well but it's uh it's finally time to go you're just too slow uh scrap the ships Time to close airship bases? Yeah, probably. Uh, sorry, Carnton. You have been a very good carrier as well, but, you know, you're also a bit slow. Um, not the best aircraft capacity. I don't... I mean, compared to other fleet carriers, she's still competent in the world right now, but... I'm sorry, you've got to go. Goodbye, Carnton. I was supposed to, uh... Oh, I was going to do something with this save file first before scrapping everything and the falks the uh, falks are now going to go as well goodbye falks you did well too I'm gonna do something with the save file real quickly give me a moment just let me uh, 836 maintenance on Carnton yes uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to take the current save file Jesus that's one good axing yep Naval aircraft's gone down a lot. Um, got 758 on Krakow, although she is repairing. Uh, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, actually take my current save file for this game and then just uh, save it. So if I want to go back to this specific point after this war and just uh, look at what happened, I can. So, I have a nice saved saves area. I'm going to have that. And this is, uh, after Britain War. Alright, cool. I can take the current save and just copy and paste it there. Alright, cool. So that should be good. 
Is it working? Yeah, it is. It's working. Cool. All right. So after that, um, all of our all these guys are going to be mothballed for the moment. Um, all these guys are going to be put into the reserve fleet. Anyhow, your des scientists deserve a paddling. Yes, they do. Um, my scientists have not been good. So, get eight inch auto loaders before you get five inch auto loaders. Yep, probably. Alright, so thoughts are I'm probably going to wind up rebuilding this set of cruisers right here into uh, anti aircraft cruisers, very similar to, say, Okay, not Achilles to uh, this guy. Yeah, to the Kaiser Carl the fourth. Give the Admiral Bird his food. Admiral Bird should have them as food. But yeah, this side of cruisers here is probably going to become anti-aircraft cruisers. Um. In the meantime, the rest of these are going to stay in their intended role. How is radar with you? How many sets? Yeah, so we can just use our remaining uh, radar here and just have everything with radar. A couple six-inch armed auto-loading CLs, perhaps. Destroyer killers. Yeah, that's my thought. Um, we do. I think we do need a couple more CLs here, because again, that's our group of modern CLs, and this one's an anti-aircraft one. The ugly, these all date from the 20s, and actually that one dates from 1918. Um, honestly, off of this one, I might not be able to get enough tonnage to do anything good. I think I'll get enough off of the Auroras. I think the Auroras and the uh, Helgolands will make good ones. I'm not entirely sure if uh, uh, Ziggit's far. That was butchered horrendously. Okay, so in terms of air groups, what I want to do is I want to keep two aircraft carriers worth of uh, good air groups around. Now, interestingly, we have an airbase here with 120. And I actually want to check Malta, if we can get an airbase on Malta. Because that's Valletta. Come on. Improve, no, not improve bases, build fortification. I want an airbase at Valletta. Because Malta, I think, is a very important place to hold. Some of these I am going to... That one, the scrap. We'll see. We'll see about it. I'm not convinced it's worth scrapping yet. Um. Yeah, right. We do want. Yeah, we do want the base on Malta. If I do uh, my base over. Oh wait, hold on. My coastal fortifications, the airship bases. We can scrap. Because we can get some more money out of that. We're not spending. Is this uh, reducing the amount we're spending on naval aircraft? Yes, it is. Alright, airship bases are gone. Our main coastal battery formations are still going to remain, though. And we got this nice uh, Airbase 120 on uh, Cyprus as well. So that's pretty cool. So, if we're going to go to war with France, I think the Sardinia air bases need to be all the way at 120. Um, so we'll upgrade a couple of those. It'll cost a little more. Now, typically a lot of battles do take place uh, in here. So I'm thinking Pola, Spilato, Kataro all get upgraded. Yeah, um... Pola... Yeah, Kataro... Spilato... 
I think Durazzo probably should too in Valona. Durazzo and Valona. Skeleton Air Wings, yeah. Skeleton Air Wings is the current plan. I can keep the large air bases with Skeleton Air Wings for now. Um, I think Tripoli. I think I want a large one at Tripoli too. So the Tripoli Air Base will be expanded. Just keep patrol boats and a few fighters. I'm not even sure I'll fully keep the patrol boats around. I'll prop. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, we need to refit our four CVs here with catapults. And now I don't care about the air groups on Prague, Graz, or Debrecen. I do care about the air groups on Krakow, however. So they will be offloaded to a base. Um, Naval Air Station Pola will keep our. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, Pola will... I might divide it between, like, Pola and Kataro. So... Patrol Barts or ASW War. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that is fair. So I'll probably keep some of the flying boats around at the air bases. Uh, hmm. So how do I want... Which units do I want to preserve? So everything off of Krakow right now... Well, actually, no, they're only good. They're only good in vet. One of them's veteran strength. That is a torpedo bomber squadron. So, with Krakow, it's four fighter squadrons, two torpedo bombers, five dive bombers. So we're gonna keep that veteran. Yeah, they are awesome. The search and rescue crews. Um. Yeah, the air groups on the rest of these will just be uh, gotten rid of. Although this will take a while. So my current thought is I want to try to keep two highly trained uh, carrier groups around. Probably of 96 planes apiece. Um, if that's not possible, given what we have, I might settle for one. Alright, so there goes, uh, Prague stuff. Can I just... No, I can't disband all of them at once. And I will not be doing this sort of, uh, four-plane squadron again. We're gonna go eight-plane squadrons from here on out. And part of the next plan is to build a, uh, what kind of, the inns are destroyers, they're DDs. Um, there are only 2,000 tonners, um, they're not 2,500 tonners, and that's because I really couldn't get a lot on a 2,500 ton haul right now. Alright, so now we've scrapped all those. On uh, Debrecen. Debrecen's groups will be, uh, disbanded here. So what we'll do is we'll grab, uh, fighter groups from the air bases and downsize them. And torpedo bomber squadrons from the air bases and downsize them. Um. And we'll try, to, I'll try to get them all in, uh, the muscle for now. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Our naval aircraft uh, numbers are going down. It could be. The problem is you can't. You can only get a certain amount of center line mounts on a ship, and that amount doesn't change between the uh, 2,000 tonner and the 2,500 tonner. Um, if it did change, I would be very happy to, uh, do that, but it doesn't. Alright, okay, so torpedo bomber-wise, the, uh, group from Pola 
will be moved to uh, the Mosul, and it will be uh, changed number down to eight aircraft, and stay at Veteran. So that will be, uh, yeah, but ports, yeah, port or starboard torps are still pretty good. Oh god. So that will probably lead to the disbandment or the disbandment of that torpedo bomber squadron, since I think you can get good experienced uh, air crews just by sitting around. Um, yeah, so all those are veteran, but Krakows are not. So, yeah, goodbye to that torpedo bomber squadron. So now we have four fighter squadrons and five dive bomber squadrons. So off of Pola, we can uh, grab their fighter squadron. Um, I'll hold that. Alright, Catero. That's two fighter squadrons, and we needed, what, four? That's three, and then that's four. Could always have a CV versus CV training exercise before war. Yeah, I could. Um,. Okay, change number down to 8. Although I might not, because training exercises cost money, and I seem to be doing pretty well. Well, actually, yeah, it would put me in shape as well. Although I just, I still think I'm just going to keep the expert uh, air crews around, and the veteran air crews. Alright, so that's our fighter complement. Actually, do we have good torpedo bombers anywhere? Yeah, those are experts, so move them down there. And then those are also experts, so move them down there. Um, change number to eight. Alright, so now we have uh, the four fighter squadrons, and that's just four torpedo bomber squadrons. That's enough for two carriers, but we'll see if we have any other export or. Expert torpedo bomber squadron. So Airbase Tripoli has nothing much at it right now. I'm just gonna move Airbase Tripoli's units to uh, other air bases here. Just off of Tripoli. So that Tripoli can be used as a uh, second group. So that these torpedo bombers are gonna get moved to Tripoli. Alright, so dive bomber wise, we need what? Five group? Actually, wait. No, no, no. Because I want to do 96, so I need one more squadron. So I'm I'm probably going to want another squadron of fighters on my carriers. Let's be real here. Five fighters. Should, would that make sense if I have 80... Or, no, 96? Because right now it's, what? Four fighters, five dive bombers, and two torpedo bombers. I... Uh, I'll go for the extra dive bomber squadron since I do have a lot of fighter cover in the region and yeah. Four 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 times eight. Yeah, that could also be done. Do I want more torpedo bomber squadrons than I normally have, or do I want an extra dive bomber squadron? I think I want the extra dive bomber squadron. I want to bias it towards the dive bombers. So yeah, I'll grab So that will be me grabbing six dive bomber groups. So let's see, how many can we grab? That's a veteran. Okay. Kitaro, your dive bombers are veteran. 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 Do you have any expert dive bombers sitting anywhere here? Nope. Looks like we just got veterans. Alright, so that's one. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. So that'll be enough for one carrier. And now we just gotta change the number of these down to eight. Eight for each. That one could have been split in two if it, if the game let me. Okay, so that's one carrier right there. Um, 
I'll move units out of uh, Lindos as... Actually, I'll move them out of Benghazi, too. And then have uh, Tripoli, for the moment, be kind of our... Actually, no, I, no, I probably don't want to do that. No, I don't. If we look at the map, um, I think... Uh, I'll do Fume. And actually, let's uh, let's expand Fume as well. So we'll have some in Fume. We'll have a couple extra elsewhere. Where is Air Base Fume? There you go. Expand Base. And then go to Fume. So at some point, whenever XDRG starts streaming, I'm going to have people all around the Mediterranean are crapping their pants right now. Yep. Alright, so let's go to Fume here. And just, uh, get rid of their stuff to, like, Lindos. And, uh, Lindos. And Rhodes. And then you can go to, uh, Obia. Yeah. Actually, it looks like... Yeah, I know. I know. It looks like we need a new flying boat. Perhaps. Okay, our old fighter is definitely obsolete now. Um, torpedo float plane scout wise, we have two. Uh, one of them has higher range, higher reliability. No, that one has higher range, but that one has higher reliability. Um, yeah, <laughs> there are hundreds of planes flying everywhere. Yeah, so I'm thinking we. As good as that range is, hmm, they're they're about even. But I think we need a flying. I think we need a flying boat right now. Um, our older flying boat's kind of old, so I think speed and probably reliability, maybe, just to keep the things flying. Probably good. Yeah, let's go back to air groups. Alright, so the Mosul has a full 96 uh, airplane group on it. Um, once Krakow is refit, she will probably grab planes from uh, Le Mosul then. And that will give us a decent amount. Or that will. She'll get everything but like one dive bomber squadron. And then when we get the 96 plane carriers built, uh, the planes will be transferred from Krakow to the uh, new carrier. So then, at uh, Fiume, which is now which now has nothing at it, we're gonna move those guys. And actually, I'm gonna use Zara for the overflow. All right. So naval station Fiume has uh, two torpedo bombers on it. That being said. Do we have expert torpedo bombers? We have veteran there, uh, veteran there, veteran there, veteran there, still veteran. That's a dive bomber we can put in Fiume though. Um, one expert fighter squadron, two expert fighter squadrons, three expert fighter squadrons in Fiume. Medium bombers, I'd give up on that. Uh, medium bombers are probably what you'd want if you want to do, like, s port suppression or something. Um, but, yeah, I I still think I'm going to keep the medium bombers around. What do they achieve for the Navy? Prince of Wales and Repulse were sunk by medium bombers in real life. Um, oh, yeah, you have the extra stuff on it. So you actually do have some expert expert torpedo bombers which will be moved to Fiume and one of its uh, veteran squadrons will be uh, traded out probably this guy here yeah disband it so then do we have another uh, tor yeah there we go another expert torpedo bomber squadron move that to Fiume to so yeah, change number.
So that gives us what? One, two, our yeah, disband that squadron. So now we do need this is not real life. Alright, Zara, you actually do have an expert fighter squadron with eight aircraft in it, so yeah, you'll be moved over there. So that'll be uh, all of our fighter all four fighter squadrons. Um Actually, we're going to keep the flying boats on station in Zara. We probably don't need that many active. So it might be the case where I just change their number. Yeah, look at our naval aircraft already down to like 7,000. Um, okay, so Fume, we need more dive bombers here. At Fume. Actually, if Zara's holding the... Uh, Excess here, so we're going to move the excess to Zara. But then, after that, yeah, we need our dive bombers. Do we have any more? Oh, we do. We do have a set of veterans there. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Yeah, I know. That's uh, five total. And then we do have a six. Good. Yep, I am very aware that its capacities exceeded. Hey, hey, Vulcan. Uh, change number here. And thank you, Evoken or co Vulcan, for the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome to the uh, follower group thingy, I suppose. Yes, I know your air capacity is exceeded. We're reducing these down to eight, or squadrons of eight here. Look, we only need to get one more of these down to a squadron of eight and you'll be fine. Change number. Wait. Change number to eight? Yes. Okay, so that's four fighters, six dive bombers, and then Zara holds the other two. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in there. And, like, XTRGs and that sort of stuff. as well and right now I'm playing a bit of World of Waves 2 so what I have is I have two full carrier groups basically uh, nicely trained up from the war and I'm gonna keep these carrier groups um, I'm probably gonna keep them at the air stations for the moment because I do want to refit my carrier Krakow um, but all of Krakow's aircraft are getting disbanded now uh, sorry Krakow There goes all those guys. We need to conserve money. Austria and Navy. <laughs> Welcome to the Unreal RNG playthrough. We're Italians, dreadnoughts cook off, and the Brits are unsinkable. Where an 18-inch shell struck a 3.5-inch belt and didn't penetrate, and f a carrier was struck by four bombs, all of which were duds. I don't know what's going on this playthrough. I don't get it. Alright, so let's real quickly look at the map again. Which air bases do we want to have flying boats out of? I think Olbia, Cagliari, and Tripoli. I do want to. Italian mines are memes as well. Yes, yes, they are. All deserved for playing Austria. I am happy sitting on that amount of prestige right now. This has been a interesting game. And we did go to war with Britain last time, so, you know, we kind of control those places now. The only thing they didn't do yet is send a frogman to plant a mine in the Prime Minister's toilet. Yep. Okay, so, in terms of flying boat squadrons, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think, there. Uh, I don't give a shit about Fium in that regard. Probably want one in each of those locations. I want one off of Malta, Tripoli, Benghazi, probably Trobuk as well. Um, probably not Lindos, actually. Or No, I'll do Lindos and not Rhodes. So Rhodes will not get one, and Limassol will get one, too. Although these will probably be trimmed down to maybe about 10 aircraft. Alright, so air groups-wise, uh, Limassol... 
So, which stations don't need one? Rhodes doesn't need one. Uh, Rhodes has a flying boat. So that will be moved to uh, the Mosul. Alright, so Rhodes doesn't have one. Uh, we're we're going to have to hold a new one for Valletta here. Off of somewhere. Um, yeah. I might not put a group in Durazo for the moment. You can't buy it from their website. Ooh, yeah, they, they don't seem to want to go Steam for whatever reason. It's like they really, really should. It would be smart. So I'm gonna move the one out of Durazo then. I think. Um, I don't know where I'll put it. Hmm. Let's uh, just move it to uh, the Mosul now, for now. And then uh, we'll sort it out a little bit later. All right. So none in no planes in Durazo right now. I want to keep Cata We'll keep Valona active. We'll keep Catero active. Um, I think we'll keep Zara and Pola active too. If this was on Steam, I'd handed out five copies to streamers. Not even kidding. Yep. Actually, I'll keep Spilato and Pola active. I won't keep Zara active. So, at Fume, that's holding those guys right now. So, there's no... Nothing at Fume. So, then... Okay, so we... You know what? Let's just look. All squadrons. How many flying boats do we have? Roll. We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 flying boat squadrons right now. That's 14. So we want 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So two of our air groups are not worth keeping around in terms of flying boats. And those are probably going to be the two uh, veteran ones rather than all the expert ones. Although that... Mm, those guys are smaller at... I don't know. I'll get rid of the two veteran ones here. I want you to change your number up to six, though. Oh, we have fighters with none on our CVLs. Keep squadrons at five. No. No, we're not doing that anymore. Squadrons, I'd rather keep them at... I, I don't know. I'll keep... These guys, I'm okay with being at, like, six or eight. Some of these guys have, like, 17. I think that's excessive. Um, that's probably going to get toned down to maybe, like, 12. Um, I think we are going to scrap... Yeah, I'm going to scrap all the medium bombers. I'm going to keep one in Tripoli. I think. A medium bomber squadron in Tripoli. I'll probably have a second. Uh, I want one at Olbia. That one will remain. That one will remain. Tripoli and Olbia. And then I think having another saved up here at uh, Cagliari to stick into uh, Valletta would be good. So the rest of these will be disbanded. Yeah. Because that's a 14, that's a 13, that's a 12. I might just disband the 14 and the 13 and then move 12s there, too. I well, don't know, I could just decrease the number in these guys. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll just decrease it to 12 in each case. Make them a little more consistent and disband the rest of these since I want to try to go to war with France next. There we go. Of the flying boats to keep experience. We'll see. Um, flying boats, I did get rid of uh, only a couple of them. So, okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's see. We, where are they right now? We have two in Olbia. We should not have two in Olbia. Okay, so Pola, Zara. 
right, does Pola have one right now? Pola does not, I don't think. So Olbia has two, so we can send one from Olbia to Pola. And that will probably be that guy. I'm thinking maybe squadrons of ten for the flying boats. Maybe depending on the airbase, some of them will be a little lower, some of them a little higher. Alright, so Pola should have one. Uh, Zara should actually not have one. I think I wanted to move you to Spilato. Should does Spilato have one already? Yes, yeah, Spilato has one. Alright, so Spilato has one. Uh, Kataro, does Kataro have a flying boat squadron? Yeah, it does. Um, we don't want one in Durazo. I don't think we have one there. Do we have one in Valona? Yes, we do. Alright, so... In that regard... Uh, Tripoli... Tripoli, we don't. We do have one in Benghazi... Um, we don't have one in Trobook, either. Free 10k of aircraft maintenance already, yes! Yes, we are, and that's going to reduce even further. Um, do you have one in Trobook? No, we don't. So let's move one, let's move one to Benghazi and one to Trobook. So, in that regard, we don't want, okay, we want one in Kataro, uh... Durazo doesn't have any planes in it anymore. Uh, Zara, do you have any? You do have one. So you move to... Not to Benghazi, you move to Trobuk. Yeah, this is just plane sorting right now. Um, okay, so Cagliari has one. Uh, Olbia has... No, oh, Olbia has one. Uh, okay, the Mosul has two because I moved the second one there, and one of those, yeah, one of those is probably going to move to Malta. And it'll probably be the one with seventeen in it. I'll probably reduce that to like sixteen, maybe. Um, so yeah, we'll keep that in the Mosul now until uh, Malta is built up a little more. Alright, so... Okay, so Trabuk has one. Rhodes should not have one. Lindos does have one. Lindos is only six. Um, Trabuk's... Trabuk's is 17, so we're gonna switch Trabuk in... Wait, where's Trabuk? That's Trabuk. We're gonna switch Trabuk in Lindos here. Alright, so Mingazi has that. Tripoli... Oh, Tripoli should have one. Yeah, go down to Tripoli. Was the Mosul supposed to have one? Yeah, the Mosul is. So then what has one which shouldn't? Fume doesn't. Uh, Olbia should have one. Cagliari should have one. Durazzo shouldn't. Valona should... Spilato should, Kataro should, Pola. Pola has two. That's what's going on. Uh, which air base did I want to set? Okay. One of the ones from Pola is going to go to uh, Malta. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to reduce the two from Pola down to 16 aircraft apiece. Um, and then I'm going to try to put one of those... Because... I don't think Pola needs a 16 aircraft one. That might be a little better in, like, Olbia or something. Olbia's is 10, so I'm going to move Olbia's to Pola, and then one of Pola's here to uh, Olbia. Because that's... Olbia's a little closer to French territory. I think that's a smart idea. Um, actually, what... For all of our flying boats, uh, Lamoso, Trabuk, and Benghazi have the 6. And then the rest of these will probably wind up being 16s. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Lindos. Lindos probably could stick with 16. Um, now, Valona, I think, I'll, or Valona's group, I think I will change to a 12. Actually, Valona's kind mm, Valona does... Uh, no, Valona does need a 16, I think. 
Uh, let's see, so over here, we have another flying boat at Spilato. I think Spilato's can be a 12. Uh, Kitaro. I think Kitaro's uh, needs to be a 16 as well, because that's kind of looking at the inner part, or the that area of the channel, while Spilato's look more in the center. Oh no, there's not a, as much to scout there. So Kataro could also go down to a 12, I think. Yeah, let's bring that down to a 12. And just reduce the amount of aircraft maintenance a little more. So Pola, um, Pola's gonna have a 10. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm aware. We are going to get the torpedo bombers and dive bombers sorted out later. So one of these, probably the 16, is going to wind up getting sent to Malta when its air base is built up. Um, other than that, I do plan on keeping them here. Uh, I'm... Hmm. Alright, so... My thought is, let's move... Okay, so... Fume, Zara, and the Mosul are our uh, main storage bases right now. I'm actually going to move one of these guys to uh, the Mosul for storage purposes. So let's move... Let's try to compress the remaining units as much as we can in the other air bases. And then sort them out a little bit more. Like, say, where do we want fighters... Uh, where do we want medium bomber? We actually do want a medium bomber in uh, Tripoli, though. All the, the medium bomber thing is uh, very well sorted. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, that'll... Okay, Lindos. Uh, yeah, just move these to, uh, like, Kataro. Move the fighter to Kataro, too. Uh, Rhodes... Yeah, move that to Spilato for now. So those two are fine. Uh, we do want the medium bombers still on Olbia. I think I think Olbia still needs her fighters. Um, and for now, I'll just move the f planes from uh, here up into, say, uh, Spilato. Malta and Sardinia and say both need fighters and something to hunt ships. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. That's my thought, too. Admittedly, we do have some time before war. Um, and I do want to conserve on money a little bit more. Alright, so. Um, Olbia. Olbia has medium bombers. It has a fighter squadron of 12. I think that's good. Um... Okay, so I'm going to move that fighter down there, and that dive bomber down there, and then from, uh, Qatar, oh wait, no, Pola is 84 out of 80. Where did I grab the second flying boat from? I'm a flippin' moron. Uh, is that the Olbia flying boat? No. That's the flying boat supposed to be there. That one's not. I grabbed one of... I grabbed the wrong one from Benghazi. Okay, go back to Benghazi. Benghazi torpedo bombers should go back here, though. Ex yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep some dive bombers on station. It'll probably mostly be the torpedo bombers getting scrapped. Although I could see keeping one in Cagliari and Olbia. Um, Malta's probably a good place in Tripoli as well. Um... Although, probably not as much Tripoli. Okay, so let's see. How many torpedo bomber and fighter squadrons do we have? So I'm going to move the fighters down to Catero. Uh, I'm going to move the dive bombers down to Spilato. At Catero, I'm going to take the torpedo bombers and move them up to Pola. And just accept the airbase capacity exceeded thing for now. Um, any Spilato torpedo bombers? Yeah, just move them to Pola. 
Tripoli Malta Axis would sort of close down the Eastern Med. Yep, that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Keep some in Tripoli, probably a little more in Malta, um, some in Cagliari and Olbia as well, and that'll uh, support this area against the French very well. Now, if the French decide to attack in here, then we have all the air bases there, and I'd assume I'd get them ready up in the first couple days of war. Um, I probably do want to keep some units in this area, maybe like Valona. Actually, I could probably do Durazzo, as that doesn't have anything at it right now. Uh, Cagliari has a medium bomber and a flying boat. Uh, flying boat should be a 16. So all the flying boats, yeah, they're all 16s or 10s or 12s or whatever. They're nice and uh, even. All right. So that's all of our torpedo bombers here over at Pola. Um, so that's a lot of torpedo bombers. Uh, Catero, Spilato, yeah, Catero, Spilato, and uh, Valona now hold basically everything else. Although, hold on, let's move the fighter over to Catero. Um, so we have all of our fighters concentrated in Catero right now, so I know how many I'm talking about, and the dive bomber moved that up to Spilato. So we have three extra... Okay, hold on. A French sail into the Adriatic, their BC still sink and somehow stay upright like ships in Silent Hunter 4. The sunk back at monuments. Yep. Alright, so we'll have uh, three dive bomb or we have three dive bomber squadrons we can put in places. We have five fighter squadrons and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine torpedo bomber squadrons. Now Cagliari and or Olbia already already has a fighter squadron. I think Cagliari needs one too. Um, so we're going to take a fighter squadron and stick it in, eh, you know, I'm going to take this squadron of eight and stick it in Cagliari. Although, please don't have grabbed that from somewhere else. I don't think I did. You know, that should be fine. One Tor Beach, Cagliari, Malta, Tripoli. Um, probably Olbia as well. Yeah, get one Torp in each location, then maybe keep one at home too. Yeah, get a Torp in Olbia. Get one in, uh, Cagliari. Get one in, uh, Tripoli. We'll put two in Tripoli for the moment, and then when the Maltan Air Base is built, we can send one to Malta. Um, I'm not even sure I can put one dive bomber in each place. I only have three, so I'll divide them up a little bit better. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to move one of these over to Valona as well. Um, and that guy is probably going to get moved to Valona. And one out of uh, Catero as well, I think. The rest of these can probably be scrapped. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I'm going to take the one from Catero out. We'll move the Cat Catero one back to Pola for the moment. The longest rule of the waves turn ever stream, by the way. Probably true. So we have four fighters to move around. We already have one in Olbia. Uh, we already have one in Cagliari. Um, let's see. Fighter-wise, we do want one in uh, Tripoli. We're going to put two in Tripoli. Uh, no, no. I'm going to have one on Malta. I'm not going to have one in Tripoli. So we'll have one in Tripoli right now. I think we need one in Valona, too. Because Valona is actually a pretty important base, just in case the French do decide to attack us. And then, other than that, probably want one in Spilato. I think I'm going to get a torpedo bomber squadron in Spilato, too. So, yeah, penny pinch, and then in the end, get a bunch of money. So now we have three dive bomber groups we need to stick places, and I think we will actually stick these places. Shame you can commission heavy bombers to hit uh, BBs and BCs in port. Yeah, that would be nice. So in this regard, we probably want what, uh, I'm going to say Olbia. I'm probably not going to station one in Cagliari. Well, you know what, no, Cagliari is probably smart, and then probably an additional one 
initially in Tripoli, it'll probably wind up in Malta in the end. So at Olbia, I don't think we should have 17 torpedo bombers there. We'll do... We'll do 12. And then... So at Spilato, we have the torpedo bomber and the fighter. At v Verona, we have our torpedo bomber and our fighter. At Pola, we have our extra torpedo bombers in. At Catero, we have an extra group of fighters. I do think I want to keep this extra group of fighters. Probably only at 12, though, but... Interprets represent, y'all. Yep. Um, hmm. Where do we put the extra group of fighters? I, I think Pola. Keep one in Pola. Uh, we're gonna disband two of these dive bomb or two of these torpedo bomber squadrons here in Pola. We'll keep a torpedo bomber squadron up in Pola as well. Even if the torpedo bomber squadrons are a little obsolete now, I want to keep the expert crews. The other ones we can uh, commission closer to war, and that is the current thought. So now we have a new flying boat proposal in uh, progress. And now we are losing a bit of money per turn. Now we are refitting a bunch of ships. And I did just save again. And it is... We can actually put some in the mothballs. And into the reserve fleet as well. And in this regard, we probably want these guys in the mothballs. Probably those guys in the reserve fleet. Here we can mothball Zrini. We're going to get a new battleship soon enough anyways. So those guys are going to be obsolete by the next war. Um, sh same with those guys. So let's mothball one. Get a bit of money. No, not two in the mothball. Only that one. There we go. Now we actually have a bit... We have a positive income right now. And I'm going to convert that positive income back into research. Partially at the very least. So, Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.